Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we're going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently, and in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Tori went to Juvie during the events of Cobra Kai Season 3? So in this timeline, the events of Cobra Kai Season 2 would still happen, the school fight would still happen in this timeline, Miguel would still be kicked off the balcony, so Miguel would still be paralyzed, and Arabi would still run away, the police would show up, and in this timeline, they would arrest Tori, so Tori would be sent to Juvie in this timeline, and the events of Season 2 would continue, the season was still in the same way, Kreese would still kick Johnny out of Cobra Kai, and the events of Season 3 would continue, Robbie would eventually be arrested and sent to Juvie, since Tori was in Juvie, there would be no one to take care of her brother and her mom, so her brother would be sent to the foster system, and her mom would be sent to a clinic. Tori would hear about this, and she would be heartbroken, and unlike the boys' Juvie, the other inmates wouldn't want to mess with Tori, so Tori would keep to herself while in Juvie, and the events of Season 3 would continue. Cobra Kai and Miyaido would still have the rivalry, and Johnny would still want to help Miguel recover. Kuris would try to visit Tori and Juvie, but Tori wouldn't want anything to do with Chris. She would blame him and Johnny and the rest of Cobra Kai for everything that happened to her, and she wouldn't want anything to do with Karate. Those events would carry on. Tori would be released a lot earlier than Robbie, and since she was still a minor, she would also be put in the foster system, but it wouldn't be with her brother, so Tori wouldn't go back to Cobra Kai in this timeline, and the events of Season 3 would continue. Kuris would still visit Robbie and Juvie, and he was still given the advice to strike first, so Robbie would still fight Sean, and those events would stay the same. The arcade fight would still happen, but without Tori and Cobra Kai, Sam wouldn't be frozen in fear, so Miyaido would beat Cobra Kai, and Hawk wouldn't break Dimitri's arm. Amanda would still find out about the fight, and she would be mad at Sam, and the events of Cobra Kai would continue. Since Amanda was mad at Sam in this timeline, she would never confront Kreese, and she wouldn't slap him. Daniel would still come back to the US, and Amanda would tell him everything that Sam did. So Daniel would be mad at Sam, and in this timeline, Daniel wouldn't want to reopen Miyaido, so Miyaido would stay closed in this timeline. Miguel would eventually recover, so Johnny would still form Eagle Fang in this timeline, and Eagle Fang and Cobra Kai would still have a rivalry, and the events of Season 3 would continue. Robbie would eventually be released from Juvie, and he would still go back to Miyaido, and much like in the original timeline, he would still see Sam and Miguel. Robbie would still be heartbroken, but in this timeline, he wouldn't go to Kreese. The events of Cobra Kai would continue. The house fight wouldn't happen in this timeline, so Hawk wouldn't be redeemed. The three dojos would continue to operate, and Daniel and Johnny wouldn't team up. And that is where I'm going to end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Tori went to Juvie during the events of Cobra Kai Season 3? Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.